All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a chat tag. So a chat tag is basically a title that will appear beside your name when you send a message in chat. So let's say we wanted to give a player a VIP title if they touch the VIP part. So what we can do is create a new part in here. We'll call it VIP part. And we can insert a new script into server script service. And we can do game.workspace.vippart.touched connect function hit. So this touched event will fire when the VIP part gets touched. So the first thing we want to do is we want to check if they're actually a player. So we can check if they have a humanoid. So if hit dot parent time for child humanoid, then we run the following code. So we check if they have a humanoid and if they do, they have to be a player. We can get the specific player that touched the part by doing local player equals game dot players get player from character hit dot parent so what we're going to do now is we're going to use something called attributes and attributes are basically properties that you can assign to any object so what we want to do is we want to see if the player doesn't have vip so if they don't have vip we want to give them vip so we check if player get attribute is VIP not equal to true. So this line will check if is VIP is not true. It also check if they actually have the VIP property. So this takes into account if they don't actually have the property to begin with. Because when you join the game you don't start with any attributes. So we want to check if they have the attribute and we want to make sure that that attribute is not true. So they don't have VIP yet. So if they don't have VIP, we want to give them VIP. So we can do player set attribute and then is VIP, so the attribute name, and then comma true. So if they touch the part, we'll give them VIP and we'll set that attribute equal to true. And then the second script we'll put in starter player scripts. So you want to insert a local script inside. So from here, we'll do local text chat service equals game get service text chat service. We'll get the players and now we will check for any incoming messages that anyone has said. So text chat service dot on incoming message equals function message colon text chat message so first we want to get the properties so local properties equals instance dot new text chat message properties then we do if message dot text source then we want to get the player who sent the message. So local player equals players get player by user ID message dot text source dot user ID. And we want to check if they have the VIP attribute. So if player get attribute is VIP equal to true, then all right. So if the player has VIP, we do properties dot prefix text equals arrow font color equals single quotation mark number sign FF 0, 0, 0, 0, single quotation closing arrow and then your title name in square brackets then another arrow slash font closing arrow space and then concatenate it to the rest of the message so dot dot message dot prefix text and then at the bottom over here return properties so let's test that right, i'm going to type hi i don't have the title yet i'm going to touch the vip part and type hi again 
And now I have a title called VIP and it's red and it shows up right beside my name. So if you want to change the color or the actual title itself, this is what you do. So if you wanted another title called owner, you could just write owner instead of VIP. If you wanted to change the color, you would have to change this over here, the FF000. So to pick a color that you want, you can basically go to some random part. You can look at its color property and you can go around and find a color you like. So let's say I liked bright green. Notice how under HTML, it provides me the color code. So I take that and I copy it. And then I can go back to my local script and then replace it over here. And we'll replace the VIP title to owner. So I type again, I don't have it yet. I touch the part and now I have an owner tag that's screen. And that's about it. You can customize it however you want and it's really useful. And that's about it for chat tags. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.